Hey guys, so um, I'm doing a voiceover for a speed paint, which is really odd. I don't normally do this, um, but we're going to try it out. We're going to see how this goes. This is like a two week late um, <laughs> Easter special. Um, yeah, but it's okay. Maybe as I grow up, I'll get better time management and like I'll actually get the specials on time with the um holidays but you know right now we're just we're struggling and that's okay but I just want to say that I have posted a video and I'm going to try to be more consistent and I so far I'm following through so I would say that's an achievement <laughs> anyway besides the point I had this image in my um, mind um, where I decided to have it as um, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the uh, mother of Jesus. And like they run to see Jesus and then they see the stone rolled away, see the angel sitting on the stone and there's no one in the tomb. And so I decided to try to portray that in an artwork. Obviously I'll never be able to actually do that um because i don't actually know what it looked like obviously but this is what i think it would have looked like if not with more like flowers and things in like the garden that they're in this was an easter special so i thought i would share like what easter is about basically easter is the day that jesus rose from the dead not the day that he died but the day that he rose from the dead he died on good friday which is just three days before, or he was on the third day. I think that's how you'd say it. I just wanted to also share that he died on the cross for you, for you, and for your sins. It doesn't matter what you did. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you think that you're not worthy. Jesus loves you, and he died for you, and he was thinking of you on that cross. I have more information about that in the description. If you want to give your life to Jesus as he loves you so much um, and he would love it if you did obviously So now I'm just like, I have finished it and I like um, decided to clean up the sketch. You see the, um, that's like supposed to be the silhouette on the rock is supposed to be um, the angel sitting there. I had decided that I was just going to do a white silhouette for the angel because obviously like we don't know what an angel would have actually looked like. So I kind of took the creative liberty and decided to make it so that he was just a silhouette so i wouldn't do the details of the actual character 
because we don't actually know what he would have looked like. And also, I didn't really want to try and draw a person face on at the time. So that also played a big part in it. But that's besides the point. So I decided to start with the um, coloring this guy going from back to front. And I actually had a really fun time coloring this guy, especially the cloud that I'm coloring right now that I just moved away from, but whatever. Um, it was the most fun to color because it was so big and I could play with the colors so much. Oh my gosh, this part was so fun. I loved coloring the birds in dark. I've always loved the idea of having just birds like flying in like pictures and stuff. Like in the background, they add like such an element to me. And so I really loved adding them here because I've never added them to any art pieces that I've ever done, which is crazy. Literally never, maybe when I was like younger, but like not recently when like art has become like my passion and stuff so you guys are witnesses you guys are witnesses uh, way to be there and see the first time i drew birds in a finished piece <laughs> woohoo I just wanted to give credit. So for the um, ground, first of all, I struggled a ton, but if I didn't have the right colors, it wouldn't have turned out as nice as it did. I actually got the colors from a um, artwork that I found on Pinterest. I am i don't remember the name of the artist, which stinks. I'll, probably, I'll put it on the screen now once I found it, if I find it. But I made like a palette out of it. I stink at picking colors. So I just like did a shortcut with most of the colors that I got here. Like for the sky, I used a reference photo that I found on Pinterest of just like a sky. And I used those colors 
with like modifications and stuff and for the tomb and like the rocks and stuff i used a reference photo of my sister took a picture of these rocks so i just used that and created a palette from that for the girls i just kind of picked colors from other areas so that like kind of went with the rest of the painting <laughs> Okay, I have a question. Do any of you guys know if Procreate has, um, like a specific like blur to tool? Gosh, other than the smudge tool, because I use the smudge tool there. But what I wanted was a blur tool, and I don't know where to find that other than the Gaussian blur like layer thing. And I want like, cause on a bis paint, I bis paint however you say it um they have like a special like tool just for blurring things out and i don't know where that is
so this is the part that I said that I followed a tutorial on. So you start with like this light yellow color on a layer, and then underneath that layer you put like with a soft brush, you paint like with this red color, and then you put that to pin light, and then you go back to the layer that you were just on, duplicate it, and then Gaussian blur it a slight bit, and then on the Gaussian blur, or no, on one of those layers, you change it to add. I forget which one it is. But yeah, that's how you kind of do that. So here I didn't like how the grass looked, so I went back with like this pencil textured brush to kind of get the effect that I kind of wanted. It's still not exactly how I wanted it to be. Um, I really have don't have any practice working with like drawing just grass. So I didn't know if I was like, it was my first try, you know, it turned out good enough. <laughs> 